To determine the volume of the tree, we need to take two measurements, its diameter and its height. And once we know both those, we can use a volume table to determine the board foot in this tree. Tree diameter in forestry is measured at four and a half feet above the ground. This is sometimes simply referred to as DBH. It is not the same as caliper, a diameter measurement used in horticulture, which is taken at six inches above the ground. Measuring DBH on a single stem tree is relatively easy, but what do you do with something like this? The point for diameter measurement for a tree on a slope is on the uphill side at four and a half feet. A leaning tree is along the upper side of the lean at four and a half feet on the lean. Trees with a deformity at DBH, such as the bulge, the diameter is taken above the deformity. Trees that are forked at DBH, the diameter is taken just below the fork. Trees that fork below DBH, the diameters are taken one for each fork and these are treated as separate trees. Simple way to measure diameter is just put a cloth tape at DBH, run it around the trunk of the tree, and read the diameter directly. If a cloth tape measure is not available, a string can be wrapped around the trunk, marked where they meet around the tree, then pulled straight and measured with a ruler. The diameter can be calculated from either measurement by dividing the circumference measurement by pi, 3.14. Diameter can also be estimated directly by using a tree caliper or Biltmore stick. These can be purchased through a number of forestry supply catalogs. A caliper has a scale bar, usually marked off in inches, with two arms to place on opposite sides of the trunk. The diameter is read directly off the scale. But since trees are rarely round, it's usually a good idea to take it in two different locations and average the difference. A Biltmore stick is a straight stick scaled for direct measurements of DBH. The stick is held horizontally against the trunk, but at 25 inches from the eye. One end of the stick is lined up with the trunk's edge, and the other edge of the trunk is used for the diameter measurement. Tree height can be estimated by a stick that is held at arm's length to the eye. Face towards the tree and hold the stick so your fist is about one foot from the base of the tree. Rotate the stick from the eye to a vertical position while holding it at arm's length. When the top of the stick is even with the top of the tree, the distance on the ground between you and the tree is equal to its height. Running a tape from the trunk to this point will give the height. This works best if the tree is less than a 5% lean. A hypsometer can also be used to determine tree's height. This is a graduated scale for direct measurement of height. The user stands 66 feet away from the tree and holds the stick in a vertical position, matching the base of the stick to its point about one foot above the ground. The height is taken by reading off the scale along the stick. Most hypsometers measure height in logs, 16-foot increments. A cruiser stick has both a Biltmore and a hypsometer scale. Rarely do we need to determine the total height of a tree. Only when we are felling the tree and need to know the distance of fall is the total height of interest. Generally, we only need to know the merchantable height of the tree, the height of the top of the usable portion of the trunk. This height is either based on a minimal top diameter, 10 inches for saw logs, five inches for pulp wood, or to a defect. Defects, irregularities in the log, will usually determine the merchantable height. The height of a saw log is where the tree forks, the first branch occurs, or to a crook. Saw logs are generally measured to 12 or 16 foot lengths, though high value wood such as walnuts may be measured in bolts, eight foot lengths. This covers how to measure tree diameter and height so you can calculate wood volume. Once you know these basic measurements, you can use a volume table to determine the board foot volume in the tree.